Did you know, every year around October, the seas of Odisha on the eastern coast of India witness the arrival of the olive ridley turtles? Traditional fish workers here share these coastal waters with the migratory sea turtles that come to mate and nest on the Odisha shore. All across the waters, the Ridleys are seen bobbing above the surface. A few months later, one of nature's most stunning dramas, the Aribada, begins. The sands come alive as thousands of olive ridleys home in to nest on Orissa's beaches. This spectacular mass nesting is unique to the ridley turtles and is called Aribada, meaning arrival in Spanish. More than a hundred thousand turtles come ashore to nest in Gahirmata and Rushikulia in Orissa, which are the major nesting sites for the olive ridley turtles. A small new mass nesting site has recently been discovered on the Andaman Islands by the Forest Department. In India, sporadic nesting areas with fewer nesting olive ridleys also occur in several coastal areas. Mass nesting also takes place in Central America, mainly Mexico and Costa Rica. There are five sea turtles in Indian waters. The leatherback, green, loggerhead, hawksbill and the olive ridley. While the leatherback is the largest sea turtle, the olive ridley is the smallest among them. The olive ridley weighs a bit over 40 kilograms and measures not more than 80 centimeters. Each female lays 100 to 130 eggs, at times going up to 150 eggs. In one season, they may nest two to three times. Nesting completed, the olive ridleys cover the eggs and pound the sand firm, an act that is fondly called dancing by many ecologists. Olive ridleys, like all sea turtles, return to the same region to nest where they were born. Out in the ocean, adult sea turtles have to survive the trawlers that dot the sea. Turtles are reptiles that need air to breathe and just like humans, can drown unless they get to come up for air. Trawler nets are long and stay underwater for more than five to six hours. On many occasions, turtles get trapped and cannot escape the net to come up for air. A turtle excluder device, or TED, has been designed to save turtles from getting stuck in nets, but it is not used by many fishermen. Sometimes, if one is lucky, the mass nesting happens during the day, and one can get a real spectacle of the phenomenon.
Often the eggs get dug up by the turtles themselves. Communities working with turtles help in either protecting them on site or taking them to hatcheries. Forty-five to fifty days after mass nesting, the beach is full of activity again. This time, it's the little olive ridley hatchlings emerging on mass. Each hatchling is not more than seven centimeters and has yolk reserves that give it the strength to crawl to the sea and swim into the open ocean. Hatchlings only have a few days' worth of energy in their yolk reserves and must swim quickly past the breakers to shelter such as seaweed rafts within the ocean. It's a race against time and they have to overcome several obstacles to reach the sea before their yolk is used up. Sea turtle hatchlings find the sea by orienting to the brighter horizon. Under natural conditions, the seaward side is brighter at night because it is open. Sea turtles are attracted by the distinct difference in luminosity between the open ocean horizon and the darker landward dune or vegetation. This is the reason it is important not to have artificial lights towards the land as the hatchlings get disoriented. By morning, many hatchlings are still trying to reach the sea without light cues. They become easy prey for crows and other predators on land as well as in the sea. The survival rate of a hatchling is one in a thousand. The large number of hatchlings born is nature's way of ensuring the survival of this species. All along the Indian coast, there are local community groups, scientists and ecologists working together to protect the olive ridley. Studies are being conducted on their origins, population trends, their migratory path, the impact of climate change and conservation. In India, some of the main institutions working on and often collaborating on turtle research are the Indian Institute of Science, Wildlife Institute of India and Dakshin Foundation, among others. For example, turtle gender is determined by temperature. Higher temperatures produce females and lower temperatures produce males. As part of a long-term monitoring project, the Indian Institute of Science and Dakshin Foundation monitor temperatures in nests and estimate sex ratios to assess the impact of climate change on the population of turtles. Many young people choose to become turtle researchers and contribute towards new findings and more knowledge on these ancient sea creatures.
During the mass hatching, communities around Rushikulia, including members of Rushikulia Sea Turtle Protection Committee and other local groups and the forest department, get together to help the hatchlings reach the sea. As for now, the current batch of hatchlings have headed to sea. It will be about 10 to 15 years before they mature to return to nest on Odessa's beaches as adult olive ridleys. <laughs>